What up guys? It's Slick Nick and I'm back with another demonstration. Uh, today we're going to look at how to create your own sample based instruments using Logic Pro's EXS24. Essentially we're going to take a loop and turn it into a virtual instrument. Now I have a beat I'm working on here uh, in Logic Pro and all the instrumentation in blue was created solely from instruments that I made sampling our orchestral hip hop loop set. So let's go ahead and take a listen. So check out this French horn I created. I'm just going to play you something from my keyboard here, uh, just so you can get a feel for the sound, but it sounds pretty damn good. And all I did was sample a loop, create a one shot out of it, load it into the EXS24, make use of some of its features, and voila. The first thing you'll need to do is find a loop you want to sample. Uh, something you can remove a good one shot from. It could be a horn loop, a string loop, a synthesizer sound, you name it. Um, in this case I took uh, this French horn from Conan 135 and I'll play that loop for you. Let me zoom in here. So we've got a nice bright crunchy horn sound. Um, you can see I've chopped it up into several slices and I was just looking for a good one shot to sample. I ended up with this one here. So again I just removed this cut from that loop. And Once you have your one shot you'll need to go ahead and bounce that down to a WAV file. So just click File, Bounce, give it a name, pick a destination. Go ahead and make it a wave, hit bounce. So I've already done this, I'm not going to do it, but hypothetically that's what you should do. Next you'll need to load up an EXS24. So I just click on new track up here in the plus sign, software instrument, create. Then I scroll over to the left, I've got my I.O. box. Scroll down to EXS24, choose stereo. Now click on the edit box in the upper right here. You get your edit window that pops up. Click on zone and then click load multiple samples. So locate your sample and uh, in my case it's in my orchestral instruments folder. Uh, it's this French horn you see I've sampled a couple of them. We'll choose this one and you can hit play over here to audition a sound just to make sure there's no artifacts. Good. So then I click Add and click Done. Now you'll get a drop down box here. Just go ahead and select Contiguous Zones, Zone Width 1, and start at C1. So if you click back in your edit window, you can see it'll identify the sample for you and it's imported it. It's also visually placed a node on the key C1 and this tells you where the sample starts. Now you want to go ahead and drag this out. Drag it out to C7 and go all the way down as far as you can to negative C2. Then scroll up to your playback parameters and make sure your pitch box is checked. Uh, this is pitch based sampling so if it's not checked this effect won't work. In effect it'll play the same note over the whole span of the keyboard. Now on the one shots you might want this box checked you might not. Uh, typically if it's a note that you're sampling that has a long sustain or duration to it a lot of times you won't want that one shot box checked. But if it's an instrument that is percussive in nature or staccato like, you know, quick, sharp, um, I find the one shot parameter works well. In this case, we'll turn it off. But now listen. So we can play anything we want.
So we've effectively turned this one-shot sample into a virtual instrument, uh, but it still needs some tweaking. So if you click on your EXS24, you'll need to start playing with your release time. Okay, it was set to short by default. And you hear how it cuts off uh, very abruptly. It, it just doesn't sound that natural. So if you play with this parameter here, you can achieve some different effects. So always get used to tweaking that. After you have your instrument tweaked, go ahead and click back on your edit box. Click on instrument and choose save as. Now go ahead and give it a name. In this case, I'd call it French horn. I'm not going to save it because I already have. Uh, but this way you can access this sound in the future. Just click save. So that's how it's done. And you can do this again with any type of instrument. All you have to do is lift the one shot from the loop. You can experiment for different results, but you can create some really cool instruments. So my name is Slick Nixon. Be sure to check us out at PlatinumLoops.com.